Kendall, one of the um, scriptural passages you used in the lecture is mm -hmm. uh, no greater, there's no greater thing than to, uh, for a person to lay down their life for their friends. Right. And so I was wondering how does this ideal of commitment and sacrifice uh, yeah. work into meanings of uh, joy and friendship? Yeah, that's such a great question. Um, the, well, the passage comes, is, is part of a, the larger conversation, um, and, and, and it's part of Jesus' passion narratives. It kind of enters right. into the passion story from there. Um, that, you know, the kind of love that God has for us is the kind of love that's worth dying for. I mean, that's a simple way to describe, that's the way I would define passion. Right. Is it's love that's worth dying for. Now the point is not that you suffer, the point is that you love something so much that it's worth suffering for. Right. Um, and, you know, if you ask most young people, friendship, of course, is a kind of love. It's one flavor of love. Right. And if you ask young people about the measure of true love and the measure of true friendship, um, the willingness to sacrifice is, it, that's pretty much the thumbprint of it. And so to be able to um, not shy away from the costliness of friendship and the costliness of love is not only critical to the authenticity of what we're about with young people, it's also critical to the authenticity of what we're about in terms of the Christian story. I mean, if the Christian story is about anything, it's about a God who loved us so much that not even death could stop God from trying to win us back. So that is... Um, that is a story of true love and true friendship. And um, so anyway, I think that young people, first of all, recognize that as a very authentic form of friendship. It's also very rare. In fact, most of them, I think, would say that, look, this, is only, this only happens in movies. It only happens in, you know, Frodo and Sam or, um, you, know, <laughs> you know, I mean, all of the Lion King, you know, the... Um, Simba and his father and all, you know, people who are or characters who rescue one another out of the jaws of death. What we underestimate is that young people feel like they live in that kind of tension all the time. And so the people who are there for them, uh, the definition of fidelity, somebody who's there for you, right? Um, people who are true to them, even when the stakes are that high, um, inspire a kind of um, love and also, um, I, I think, a kind of response that's, that's kind of unique. Now, that doesn't mean that kids, I mean, you can lay down your life for people who are never going to respond. Mm -hmm. And there are plenty of youth ministers out there doing that every day. Right. You know, they are out there working with young people who have been so beat up by life that they don't have the tools to be able to respond or they have been so betrayed that they feel like they have to push young people, they have to push anybody away who tries to love them. Um, but if anything's gonna break through that, it's that level of fidelity um, to feel like you, somebody loves you, somebody thinks you're to die for, you know, that's, that's the love God has for us, and that's what we're shooting for. And we do it badly, but that's the goal.